Greatest Cards of All Time podcast number 54. It's Bob Sarge Kuzava, number 85 in the 1952 top set. I love 1952 tops. This man went 10 and 6 for the Sox in 1949 and got fourth in the Rookie of the Year voting that year, too. So he kind of came out the gates pretty hot. Solid. That wasn't his Solid. MLB debut, but like you said, 10 and 6. He actually pitched 156. That's his rookie innings. year. Yeah, that was a 4.02 ERA, and that was his Rookie of the Year where he finished fourth. Like you said, he actually. Had a 625% win percentage, which was pretty good and um, not bad. As far as his actual debut, that was in 1946. He was with the Cleveland Indians, and he was pitching against the Detroit Tigers, and he was pitching against Dizzy Trout. We actually cover Dizzy Trout on another podcast. Maybe we can link to that at the end of the pod here. But Kazava actually pitched eight innings, gave up four four hits and only one earned run he got a no decision the game lasted 11 innings and dizzy trout pitched all 11 innings versus kuzava and he ended up getting the win which i thought that was pretty cool yeah this guy played for the white Sox. he played for washington he played for the yankees he played for baltimore Philadelphia, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis. So he did spend some time in the league, and he spent some time in the league traveling around <laughs> to multiple different right. cities. But he kept getting a job, and he kept getting the job done, actually, mainly with the Yankees. He was most successful say winning three titles. Most known for his, his yes, his White Sox, I'm sorry, his Yankees uh, tenure. So he was traded from the Washington Senators in 1951 to the Yankees. I believe it was for three other pitchers and $100,000. And actually, he was still on crutches at the time of the trade. And it sounds like the Yankees did not know that when they actually traded for him. So <laughs> I thought that? that was interesting. The thought, I believe, on the Yankees, he did do he did start some for them. But ultimately, I do believe they wanted him coming out of the bullpen as a lefty. And that definitely paid off his claim to fame, I would say, a save in the 1951 World Series against the New York Giants, and then also a save in the 1952 World Series Game 7 against the Brooklyn Dodgers. Then he was traded off to Baltimore after the 53 Yankees championship. He was sent over to Baltimore for the 54 season. His career war, 4.1, win-loss total, 49 and 44, and a career ERA of 4.05. He is in a Hall of Fame, and it's not the Baseball Hall of Fame, but in 2003, he was inducted into the National Polish American Hall of Fame, and that was June 12th of 2003. What do you think of the look of this card, of this 52 Tops card? You got a solid background, but this time it's pink. I think one of the first time we're definitely showcasing one of these solid backgrounds that aren't blue or red. This one happens to be, to my eye, bright pink on yeah. this red back card. I, I was thinking red at first, but the, yeah, the closer I look at it, it does have a little more of a pink to it. Looks nice with that bright yellow Yankees logo. Just a classic. I love this card. And then you get the vertical pinstripes. Gotta love a card like that. Love the logo. You know, we've seen a lot of the, we've looked at a lot of the 52 Yankees cards. As far as the condition, you know, there is a crease. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit on the face, but it's really not overly noticeable. And it doesn't seem like it actually goes through the back of the card either. As far as Bob's career, he played from 1946 to 1957. And after his playing years were done, he actually was a scout for 10 years in baseball. 